Okie dokes. Hello, welcome to Roulette Profit and Stop here on YouTube. Thanks for tuning in, thanks for your support, thanks for your time. On this recording, this is going to be day number six of recording small amounts of profit across multiple casinos using uh, some free roulette tools and some paid for roulette tools. Um, on this one, I'm going to be using the same tool as the previous video, which is the uh, quadrant roulette tool and looking to get a minimum of two pound profit or close to that as possible and then i'm going to move on to the next casino that's what i'm going to do build my balance across multiple casinos i've been doing this for a long time this definitely works in terms of building a balance slow build small stakes it works so that's what i'm showing and sharing if you want to gain access to any of my roulette tools and help support my channel you can do that by going over to my website my website address is in the listed in the, the description and it's also just below the main header on my youtube channel and this is what the website looks like there's a little bit of information about me in the top panel and then underneath that these two panels here tells you the first one tells you that the tools run within your browser so it's a web-based tool which means you've got to ha have, have access to the internet to use the tool you just click on a link and the tool boots up in your browser and you input your passcode and away you go now it works on any device doesn't matter if it's um, android ios it works on both of those devices it works on a mac pc windows um, and the devices are desktop computer laptop tablet ipad mobile phones so it works on everything basically because it's a web-based tool whatever you surf the internet on it or run through that so the next panel is the roulette tool order processing so it says please allow up to 24 hours for for processing of an order so it just gives me enough time to reply to your email basically because it's a, a manual operation it's not automated um but once you purchase a tool by clicking on the buy now button for the term you want to use the tool over whether it's 30 days 60 days 90 days you pay via paypal and then wait for my email reply with your passcode and validation dates so basically i'll send you an email once you've paid with the passcode that you need to um to, to access the tool and the validation dates for that particular 30 day 60 day or 90 day access that you've got the tool over um check your spam and your junk folders because my email to you could end up in your spam or your junk folder so please check that and once you've got my email with the passcode and your validation dates uh, come back to this website and you click on the green button that looks like this on the tool you've you've ordered so let's just scroll down to the roulette tool comparison table and look at the quadrant tool which uh, plays the inside bet and it's good for single zero and double zero tables so I click on the actual name quadrant and it'll go straight to that tool that panel so if i bought this tool for 30 days access 60 days access or 90 days access um, and i've got my passcode via email then i just click this green button that boots that tool up in your browser you can scale your browser window down it'll scale the tool down agree to the terms and input your passcode that's it so basically you find the tool you want to use you, you, you click the buy now button on what, whichever one you want to use it over whether it's 30 days 60 days or 90 days and then um, you come back to that tool and click the green button input your passcode and away you go that's as simple as i can make this operation at the minute so that's pretty much that um yeah so let's get rid of that for now Oh, let me just bring it into the casino. Uh, um, right, so I just need to load a table up now. So I've got 20 quid to play with because I've deposited 20 pounds. In fact, before I do that, I should be showing you the sheet that I'm working bets from. Closing. I'll just load this table up. I'm going to play speed roulette bets, a bit faster. And 
let me just bring you up to the, sh the sheet. I've not shown you the sheet. There we go. So this is the sheet. I now shared this, by the way. This is in the description now included. You can download this. Um, to the right, I'll just let you know, to the right of these numbers, there's some check boxes. There's some check boxes to the right that, you, that I tick. So once I've completed um, a day, I tick the check box. Then that will update these values in these boxes here. So if you do download this sheet, uh, these are these values are affected by the check boxes in the right hand side of these values here. Uh, right. So I've got twenty pounds deposited in each of the five casinos, and I'm looking to make really tiny amounts like two seventy, two ten, three twenty, that kind of thing. And yeah, let's see if I can achieve it. So far, I've made. £83.60 all withdrawn back into my bank account because as soon as I'm making profit I'm withdrawing it I'm withdrawing the whole amount putting it back into my account so I know that's safe and I've made that much money uh, until now which I've just I've just deposited £20 in each so that's £100 gone in total um, so I need to make this this count I need to make this work so I need to make profit of at least £2 profit and then I can move on to my next casino. So let's see if I can achieve that on this recording. So I'm going to play the quadrant tool, single zero table. So I'm going to input the numbers from the table. If you want to know how to use this tool, watch the previous video. Uh, I explain it on that. And there's also a video, a YouTube video on my website. If you click the title of this tool on my website, the header name uh, that there's a little YouTube icon next to the header name if you click that it takes you through to YouTube and it shows you how the game operates right so if it's missed quadrant 3 for 14 spins in a row it's highlighted it green with a box around it because that 14 and the next highest which is 3 is, is greater than a 3 point difference so I'm going to be betting on quadrant 3 in a minute Unless it hits on this spin. So I don't want to see 11 neighbour ideally on this one yet. Oh, you might do it. It's going to do it. Oh, no, it's not. Good. Right, 14. I've got two options. Do I go with the area that is hitting and the one that isn't? I'm actually going to go with quadrant 4, you know. I'm going to go with the area that's hitting over the area that isn't hitting. Because once it's quite high on the area that's not hitting, it usually goes a little bit higher still. So I prefer to do the one that is currently hitting, if, if that's the case. So first bet, quadrant one. Sorry, four. Quadrant four, one neighbour by four. And that is 29, which is a miss. So click 29. I'm still going with the same quadrant, even though the light's gone out. Uh, that's the most that's the highest rated quadrant that's hitted that's hitting at the minute 16 spins in and it's hit seven times out of 16 which is quite a good ratio of hitting so this is my second bet on quadrant four which is one neighbor by four so I clicked on one there's the six right watch what happens now it's got a yellow dot on six this is my third bet I'm now going to cover the 6. There's a yellow dot on that 6. That's why I've covered that bet. I was placing bets on quadrant 4. The bet was in play. It went to number 6. That's now got a yellow dot on it. This is my third bet. My next bet will be a double up. My first three are flat rate. My fourth bet's a double up. So anywhere near 6 is good. For a little bit of profit. 21. Have I got that? I think that's just outside. And that would have hit that area that highlighted green as well. Mm. Typical. So my next bet. Oh, we go back to one. We go back to quadrant one, my, my original bet. And this is my fourth bet. If this hits, I get into profit. And that's a stop. So I'm continuing with the area that's hitting the most, which is quadrant four. So one neighbour. If this hits, this is a double up. Is your job done? 12. 
I'm still on quadrant four. I'm repeating the bet and adding a chip. Again, if this hits, it's, it's job done. So basically, most of the time when I'm playing roulette, if I get the one single hit, I usually I'm usually done. I get my profit and I stop. So that's usually what happens most of the time. So looking for one neighbour. Anywhere near one's good. And that's perfect. 33. Let's just see what the balance goes to. 23.60. That is me done if I click 33. Menu. There you go. So 23.60. I'm going to bring up the sheet. There you go. So £3.60 on that. Move over to the next casino. So I'm gonna, what I'm doing in the background is just going to the main menu on this casino, getting out of that window, and then going to go switch over to the next casino in the background. While I'm doing that, loading up another table. Let's have a quick look. Um, I'm going to try this one, but I don't know if it's going to stream all right. Um, just find out if it's going to stream. Sometimes this one doesn't really stream that well. And it's really annoying, and I can't see the. Uh, I can't see the um, the spins correctly, which is really annoying. So I'm just gonna set this up. Uh, let's mute that for now. Right, so uh, bring it into the casino. So this is the table I'm playing. I'm just going to move the tool up so you can see the money over here. I'll just switch it over there. So what I'm going to do is input the history of numbers. There's quite a lot to input here. So um, what we'll do them all anyway. 30, 23, 16, 35, 18, 29, 35. Uh, 0, 24, 23, 24, 23, 9, 31, 24, 25, and then we've got 15, and then we've got 15 to 26, 31, 32, 26, 10, 10, and then 34. Right, so 34 is yellow dot on it, but I'm not placing it, I only did the yellow dot bet. If um, I'm I'm in play with anything else already, so neighbour number to four, ten pence stake. Let's see if I can catch one on this. So the 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 layout on the wheel is inverted on this casino, but hmm, anyway. Let's see if this uh, streams all right or not. Thirty two. So we're looking for the three point difference and it's going to highlight green around the box either on the white white out corner box numbers or the blue inner box numbers. So there's a six and a four which is a two point difference and there's a seven and a six which is a one point difference. So if it hits uh, quadrant um, one on this spin I'll be betting on quadrant four which is one neighbour. That's 24. Right, so now if it hits quadrant 3, I'll be betting on quadrant 1 because 5 and 3 is a 2 point difference. And if it, if that goes, if it hits quadrant 3, that sets back to 0. That'll go to 2, and this'll go to 6, and that'll be a 4 point, and that'll be a 1. So it'll be a green box round quadrant 1 if uh, if it hits quadrant 3, which is 11 neighbour. Acting. Right, so we're looking at now four and two. So we want to get rid of the two, really. So if it's if it hits quadrant two, we can go to quadrant four. So basically, if it hits a quadrant, it resets that count on the blue in the middle numbers in these four boxes. These get reset because these are counting misses in a row, and the outer white corners are counting total hits. So number eight, here we go. So 
Uh, oh no. So we need. We've still got to wait. Yeah, I don't think this is um streaming that well, is it? I might have to exit this one because you're not going to see it in action, which is really annoying. Let me just alter the setting just in case I can get it to flow a little bit better. See if it's uh, going to do anything. Right, so we've got two, a two point difference, nine, seven. The top two highest numbers, three point difference I'm looking for, four and a three. So if it hits quadrant four, nine through to five i'll be i'll be betting on quadrant two because that'll be at five and this will be at two and that'll be a three point difference because that sets back to zero if it hits so nine through to five to hit ideally there we go it's done it brilliant now it's highlighted that so quadrant two is the bet which is 21 neighbor this is my bet let's go i'll just undo it place it again they can hear it there we go if this hits 21 neighbor we're laughing so it's not hit 21 neighbor but for five spins quadrant two for five spins it's not hit in a row not guaranteed but you never know this is my first bet wow that traveled a bit so i'm sticking with the same uh, quadrant um, we're going to see if I can catch it on the second bet. So I'm just looking to make £2 profit or greater. And this is how I make money through gambling. That's how I do it. So 34 to 32. To the right of zero. There you go, see how it shot forward to four? That is a win. But I'm 20 pence shy of my target. Uh, I'm going to switch tables because I don't like the way that this one's kind of... Um, I don't like how it's operating, this one. It's not really streaming that well. So I'm going to reset the tool. And we're going to go back to the lobby. But I'll play a different table now. Up here, I'm not playing lightning. <laughs> I'm play I'm just going there for the lobby. That's all I'm doing with that. Let's play this one. See if I can catch a win on this. We've got a dealer change. Nice. Righty ho, single a zero. Oh, yeah, she's nice. Though. So fifteen, dunk seven, twenty-seven, nine, eighteen. 21, 9, nope, that's not right, let's do that again, 7, 27, 9, 18, 21, 12, 9, 3, 23, 33, 21, 28, and 19, plus whatever this is, neighbour number's already set to 4, Let's see if I can get um, a winner on this. So if it hits quadrant four, the bet will be quadrant three. And it hit quadrant one there. Oh, we've got quadrant one. So one's got ten numbers in it. So we're going to do twelve and add the twenty-two. There we go. So I'm on quadrant one because it's highlighted with the green box around it. Let's see if I can catch this on the first spin. So we only need to make 20, 20 pence to get to my target. So I could have actually stopped, to be fair, which is a better way of playing, stopping sooner if you're close to your targets. Because I'm already, I was already three one pound sixty pence over my target on the previous casino. Um, what am I on here? Thirty one, not that one. Right, that's highlighted, but we stick with the original bet. You stick with the original bet, unless it highlights 34, sorry, 6, 34, 17, or 25. 
This is my second bet. So I'm sticking with my original bet, which is quadrant one. This is my second bet. I'm looking for zero three to twenty two. Just after, just to the left of zero basically. Second bet. There you go, there's my hit. Eighteen's a win. Buzz in. Boom. There you go. So that is twenty five quid now. So I've just made five pounds on that casino. So bring up the sheet. So I'm at eight pound sixty and, and over across two casinos so far, which is pretty good. So now I'm going to move over to casino number three, and I'll uh, bring you back shortly. So I'm going to go to the. This one does the same as the other one. You can't click the home player. You can't click the home button when it's in play for some reason. It's really weird. Right here we go. This one I might have to log back into. Find out. Let's just get it loaded up. All right. Bear with me. Yeah, I've got to log back into this one. This one farts about. It's quite annoying. But anyways, um, where is it? And then log into the table. Get you show you what's going on. Reload the game. Come on, for goodness sakes. Just gotta log out and log back in again. It's been a bit of a tit, unfortunately. Right, click on that. Down here, click on that. Is it going to load it up? Return. Expired. Right. It's been a dick. Right, just hang on a minute. Bear with me a second. I've just got to log out and then log back in again. Just logging in in the background. So <laughs> it's farting about, I think. Is it going to do it? What the fuck? It's not letting me play for some reason, which is really pissing me off. So I might return to this one later. Maybe they're having issues with that table. Who knows? Hang on, let me just try a different table. I said there's another there's another option. There's not many players on these tables, so I'm guessing they're having issues. Yeah, so we're gonna have to skip this casino because it's not playing. So, which is fair enough. I don't mind doing that. That's okay with me. So we'll just try to head over to the next casino instead. But I'll come back to that one another day. I'm not going to lose anything by not playing it. So I'll just leave my money in there and then I'll come back tomorrow. And then uh, that'll leave for me. So I'll just log out of that. That is really good. So it saves me. Do anything on that one. So next casino. Let's go on that one. Let's get this one loaded up. So, no I'm more play bets, please. On this one instead. So I'm on the next casino. The one that I was wanting to play wouldn't allow me, so it just kept logging me out. So I'll skip that one then. Right. So input the history of numbers: thirty-five, twenty-one, eight, ten, twenty-five, eight, ten, twenty-five, twenty-four. Number 19, number 17, number 9, 31, 33, 0, 
15 and 25 so I could do I could do well I will do quadrant 3 unless it hits on this spin and it's just landed on this spin look at that 11 right 11 in the centre so Please that's a little bit annoying best. isn't it play at 10 pence because I don't need to increase it I'm already one pound 60 ahead well I'm already from four pound 60 up over what I need to make what I need to make is two pounds minimum no more bets, each please. casino and that'll do for me so anything above that um I can make less on the other casinos so that's how I play it because that works. 32. Do what works, yeah. basically. Right, here we go. Quadrant 2. Place your 21. Bets. Let's go. Quadrant 2 is the one that's hit the most. 7 hits Six out places. of 16 spins. That's what the outer white corner box are counting. The total hit. And the inner blue no boxes are counting please. how many misses in a row. So, I'm sticking with this quadrant until it hits now. Quadrant 2. So, 34 to 32. Bet number one, if this hits, it's profit. And number 30. 30. Repeat bet. the bet, same stake. Please place your bets. So this is either going to take money off me, or give me the profit, basically, one or the other. Bets closing. Been on for 26 no minutes, I've got bets, one more please. table to do. Could have been on for a lot less time than that if it wasn't for that casino not working. But um, anyway, what are we on? Just after zero. Eighteen. 18. That looked like it was going to go up to my number. Right, we've got two areas highlighted. Place your bets. I'll just stick with the original one till I get my win on that. But I might not win, so <laughs> bets got to be close. careful. Not guaranteed to get your hits. Remember. No more bets, please. Even though you might see me hitting on all the tables, it, it won't always do that. So be aware of that. This is third bet, I think. Oh, look, it's one off. Zero mm. green. Interesting, that, isn't it? Please place your bets. I think this is my fourth bet, isn't it? Yeah, this is my fourth, bets so it's a double up. Closing. So... Um, zero hit up when zero zero came in and zero came in again. How many how many spins is it? Seven. One, two, three, four, five, no six, bets, seven. Please. Yep. There you go. Usually seven spins after zero has landed, it hits again. So this is a double up. If this hits, I've got my target. Thirty five. So I think this is not going to play. We'll give it another few goals. Uh, so I've repeated and added another chip. I'm down at twelve eighty. Bets closing. So this table sometimes hit you get your hit straight away and you can get out of there. No and sometimes bets, it's an please. absolute nightmare as it's showing at the minute. So thirty four to thirty two, come on. Right, here we go. Red. This, I think this is going to be the winning spin. Now, if this misses, if this does not hit, I've waxed half my bankroll. So I'm going to switch games at uh, tables. Bets closing. No more bets, please. I'm going to go to a different table if this misses. But I'm expecting 36 to go to 34, which will be a hit. I don't want a neighbour of 36. That would be a negative. Oh, wow. Come on, what's that? That's nowhere near. That's number 16. 16. I red. would never have had 16. Right. Please place your We're going to switch uh, tables. Switch the table. Because that is clearly not playing. So now I'm going to go on a different table. I'm going to go on a... F oh, I don't want to go on a 50p. I'll go on a 20p. Let's do American. That's 20 pence. Let's see if this one's playing or not. Double zero. 
So we've got 17, 17, 3, 21, 24, 32. I think I should have gone on this one first, to be fair. 14, 35, 31, 25, 23, and 17. Right, so quadrant 1, which is 24 and ever. So, let's have a quick look at what quadrants are what. 24 neighbor, so it's 11. Yep, so 24 neighbor is the bet. Um, we need to add the 5. There you go, it's a £2 bet. Uh, if this hits, this will get me to my target. So I'm on quadrant number 1. It's not hit for 7 spins in a row. So double zero through to number 5. Just after double zero, anywhere near, num near number 24. 24-3. This is my target if it hits. One hit, job done. Come on. Just after double zero. Mm, wow. Nowhere near. 11. That's a bit shite. Repeat the same bet. It's costing me £2 a go. This might take all my money. Hopefully it won't. This will get me... Uh, what? 7... I need to hit twice now. In fact, I would need to hit twice anyway, I think. Hopefully this is going to hit on this spin. But then the next opportunity I'll hit on that. And then that'll be my target. So, just after the five. There you go, there's my hit. Number one, boom. That's bloody good. Fantastic. Right, good. So that's actually hitting. So I'm waiting for my next opportunity now, on this same table. Uh, see if I can catch another win. So, I need three wins though, don't I? I have to hit on my first spin. So if I'll get close to my, my target amount. Well, close to money back if I hit uh, on the next spin that I place. So, yeah, I mean, if I get close to breaking even, because I'm up on the other two casinos, I don't necessarily have to make, get into profit. Um, But yeah, so let's see what happens. Right, right quadrant three is the bet, which is 23, and I think I've got to add the six. Where's 23? And add the six. There you go. So it's quadrant three because it's missed for five spins in a row. It's missed for five in a row. And five and two is a three point difference. I'm not doing it because it's missed five spins in a row. I'm doing it because there's a three point difference between that five and that two. The two highest numbers. It just highlights it. So six to single zero. Oh, that was nearly it. That was nearly the win. That would have been nice if that would have hit. Repeat the same bet. Here we go. So still on quadrant three. <coughs> Come on, hit on this spin. Give me that win, then I can get up to the next table. Next casino. Get out of here. So just after six, before the single zero. There you go, there's my hit, 14. That's a win, boom. Click 14. That gets me to 15.60, so I just need one more hit. If I get one more hit from this table, um, that could do it if I hit on my first spin. So. Let's see where it's going to go next. So one more hit get me in, gets me into profit. If I'm not quite two pounds up 
I'm not bothered, I'll take whatever it gives me, because I've been on for long enough on this casino now. So if I do get another hit and that puts me close to my target, oh that travel, um, I'll just do, I'll just take what it gives me, because I'm not interested in making exactly the, the target that I'm setting myself and I've already over overachieved on the other two casinos. So. This is, this is about, I'm overstaying my welcome now. I want to be able to get my hit in about a couple of, couple of spins, a couple of wins and get out of there. One, one win or two wins and I'm, I should be done really. I shouldn't be on for any longer than necessary. Um, is that 28? Yep. So, 7, 5. So if it hits quadrant 4, that'll be the bet because that'll be the highest count and it'll be a 3 point difference between this value and the next highest. If it hits, <coughs> excuse me, um, it, hit, it needs to hit quadrant 3 twice and I can hit quadrant 2. So a quadrant 4 to hit anywhere near 11 is good. That's the 4. If it hits here, I can place a bet on quadrant 4. If it hits quadrant 1, I can bet on quadrant 2. So if it hits one or four, I can bet on two or four. Three. Right, there you go. Quadrant two, twelve neighbor. Here we go. Goal time. So it's not hit this area. Five spins. And <coughs> it's just nine numbers. Quadrants two and four are nine numbers total. Quadrant one and three are ten numbers. So you've got to make sure you add the extra number, like five and the six. If you're doing those quadrants. Now if this hits, this is uh this should be profiting a stop. And I can switch to the final casino. So looking for eighteen to twenty seven. Just before the double zero, right of double zero. Nope. That's opposite. It always takes me two spins on this one. It's took it's took it's taken me two two spins for a hit on this table so far. Two spins and I get my hit. I am tempted to double up because of that trend, but it might miss. So just after double zero, to the right of double zero before the eighteen. So just after that double zero before this eighteen, so anywhere near twelve is good. There you go, 31's a hit, boom, we'll take that, thank you, and it's nearly money back, so one more hit, for goodness sake, <laughs> one more hit, come on, if it's hitting every two spins, I'm going to get to my target anyway, so if it hits quadrant four, that'll be the bet, because that'll be a three point difference between the highest amount of hits on that quadrant to the next highest which is six so that'll go to nine if it's anywhere near the eleven twenty four uh, so if it hits now if it hits the quadrant four i've got two options it'll highlight quadrant three and quadrant eight uh, sorry quadrant three and quadrant four potentials if it hits quadrant four now oh no no, it won't be, because that's 7. If it hits quadrant 4, it'll be quadrant 3. as the bet. So if it's anywhere near 11, quadrant 3 is the bet. Come on. Hit that 11. Not quite, 35. Right, so... <sighs> getting bored now. Because I'm getting bored, I'm probably going to bet sooner than I should do. And I might lose. 
Although I am tempted to do Quadrant 4. I'm going to do it. I've done it. I've done Quadrant 4. Oh, I've missed this. Oh, I don't need a 0. I've done Quadrant 4 because it's the both highlighted high, so 11. Uh, I've jumped in a bit too soon. I'm going to stick with Quadrant 4 because I think that's going to hit. But this is me now being impatient. This is what you don't do. I'm becoming impatient because I've been on for far too long. Because I started on the automated table. And typically when I get my wins, I get them really early on. And when they're not hitting early on, uh, I'll switch tables. Which is what you see me do now. <laughs> so... 28 to 17 is the bet. Her profit. This is for profit. The right of single zero. This is my third bet now, look. I'm going to switch my bet to double zero up here. I'm switching. So now I'm getting bored of doing something different now. So I've done basically, I've done 29 through to 24. I've done double zero before either side, third bet. So this is me getting bored now. So this is what you don't do. It's a stupid thing to do. Unless of course you get your hit. But double zero, anywhere near that's good. 24, I've got that. That is a hit right on the edge. And that gets me into profit by one pound. You know what? I'm not going to risk it any further because um, I've taken too many risks there. I'm going to take my £1 profit. I was getting bored and agitated on that one, so we just take the £1 and move on. Let's go to the next table. Next casino. Final one. So I'm just going to log out of this one. Well, not log out of it, but go to the home page on that. Jump on this one. So I'm just jumping on a table in the lobby on the final casino and then I'll bring you into it so lobby go like that, click on that roulette and we'll play on this one here we go. So, here we go again so single zero, got 33 16, 14, 33, 13, 9, 10, 24, 23, 17, 23, 36. No, it's not. 23. Yeah, it's, it's 36. 36, 16, 12. Here we go. 20p stakes this one. So if I hit on this one straight away, this will be fun. So. Have a bit of luck, it's going to do it. Oh, that was naughty. I didn't like the way the ball interacted with the wheel there. That was naughtiness. So, final table. Get my win on this. Get my profit. Update the, uh, the sheet. And then we're good. So, we want quadrant 4 to hit, or, uh, yeah, quadrant 4, one neighbour. Right, it's done it, fantastic. So that's the bet, because it's that's hitting the most. And so, one neighbour's the bet. This is the first bet. If this hits, 5 through to 9, then it's job done. I can wrap things up and come back tomorrow. <coughs> so, I couldn't get the other casino to play i might revisit it i've still got it loaded up no no i haven't i'll have to load it back up again i'll try and get onto that other casino try and get a couple a win at least on the other one at the end i'll revisit that one i couldn't lo log into proper but uh, 
You know, anywhere near one's good. First bet. Nope. It's going to be nowhere near. Guarantee this is going to be nowhere near my number. <laughs> this is going to rinse. Second bet. Let's go. Second bet. 44 minutes in. Shouldn't take this long, really. You should be in. Get in, get out. It should take in minutes. Should just take in minutes. <sighs> Deal of change. Second bet. Quadrant four. One neighbour. Five through to nine. Seven is a miss, so this is now it's highlighted that quadrant, but I'm sticking with the same one. This is my third bet. I'll take any amount of profit. Any amount of profit will do. And at this stage, because I'm getting bored, so when I get bored, I might become restless and I'll start doing silly bets or do bets outside of the tool, which is what you saw on the previous one. Uh, I'll switch my bets up, I mean, so. The 21's good. This is my fourth bet. I'm going to repeat and double up. So I'm down at £11. If this misses, because I've spent half my bankroll, I'm going to start doing my own thing. So if this hits, this is job done. But this needs to hit 9 through to 5, or 5 through to 9. One neighbour. This needs to hit one neighbour, come on. There you go, perfect. Nine, just about on the edge. That'll do for me, that's a good hit. I doubled up at the right time there. Fourth bet, so £5.40 on that. Buzz in. So I made £15. I want to revisit my other casino that I couldn't log into before. So I'm going to close out of this one for now and then I'm going to load up the other one that I couldn't get into before just to see if it's working again and <clears throat> see if I can catch um, a win on it so all I'm doing in the background is loading up the table or trying to uh, wherever it is let's jump on that one just to see if it loads first going to log me in. Alright, it's logging me in now, so fantastic. 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 In fact, we'll play this table. It's a 20p table. So, there we are. And there we go. So, we're in. We're on. Fan bloody fantastic. Here we go. Single double zero table this time. Twenty two, seventeen, twenty nine, uh, thirty three, twenty five, thirty three, twenty one, eighteen, twenty seven, uh, thirteen, uh, seventeen, ten. Right, so quadrant three, which is twenty three, which is that's 23. Yeah. 23 to that, 12. Right, I've got two areas, missing or hitting. Do you know what? I'm going to go with the missing, which is 23, and add the 6. So I've gone with this one because that was the first one that I highlighted. I could have opted for the one that is hitting the most at the minute. I've got opted for the one that is not hitting the most, the one that's not hit for six spins in a row. So I'm on 23 neighbour, quadrant three. I've gone against the trend, basically, or the trend of missing rather than the trend of hitting. <clears throat> so single zero, just after single zero, basically. Keep going. Oh, it was just <sighs> nearly. Repeat the bet. Second bet. 
again if I hit on the if I hit on my first my second I can get into profit of the target I want if I hit on my third I'm 20 pence shy of my target but I'll take <clears throat> I'll take one pound 80 profit if it hits that thank you very much oh no it'll be two pound one actually I don't know what it is been on for too long <laughs> so six through to zero See that? That was a bit erratic, the ball getting to that number. That was naughty. So the ball has got some naughtiness on it. This table is not right. I'm not saying that because I lost on that spin, which people might think. Um, I'm too... It's just, no. I'm, I'm past that phase where I thought, oh, it's fucking not winning. You know, blah, blah, blah. I'm not, I don't think like that. I just look at how the ball is interacting. It's obvious. So if this misses, I double up. If it hits, it's a stop. Here we go. Here we go. Keep going. Thank you. So that. Oof. Mo too much movement, but it is a hit. Fuck, you know, that was shocking, that. So I'm, I'm £1.20 up. I'm going to take that. But that was not right. Twenty one twenty. what I've got. So... Job done. So I've made um sixteen pounds twenty uh today on these casinos. Three sixty five, one twenty, one five forty. That that one and that one twenty doesn't matter because it's less than two because I've covered the cost of that on the five and the three sixty and that five forty. So you know sixteen twenty is not too bad today. So I'm happy to take that. And now nearly doubled up on what i deposit in a day i've nearly got that secured which is really good so once you've got that then it's profit from there on really that's what i that's how i see it um but i'm actually i'm gonna withdraw all the cash from the all the casinos now and then uh, so i can't make any more deposits and then i'm gonna come back tomorrow and do the same thing i hope you're enjoying the content do not forget to give it a thumbs up and i shall see you again uh soon